Hello Trello friends, this is Nicole Lick. So today I'm going to share with you how to create and customize your backgrounds inside of Trello. To change your background image, you go to change background and then there's going to be pre-loaded photos and nine colors for you to choose from. There's also some patterns and textures and then if you want to have a custom option, you need to have Trello Business or Trello Gold. So let's talk about a few things to keep in mind when you're changing up your background. The backgrounds need to be high resolution images. So for instance, if you see like this image that I have um, of an image that I just quickly shot for Instagram, you'll see that because I didn't import that as a high diff image, uh, it looks a little pixelated. So you want to make sure you choose an image that's over 640 pixels in either width or height. And then in terms of the shape, an image that is wider or horizontal is better in comparison to a tall or a vertical image because it will be cropped. So if you do have an image that's vertical that you want to use, just keep in mind that it will be cropped. What you can do if you do have a vertical image that you want to use, to go into Canva presentation, you select grids, you grab the picture that you want to use, you drag it into your space, and then you can click and you can choose where you want that image cropped. You can then download it and then to import it into Trello, we'll click on this plus sign and then it will upload it for you. So you can also click on options and then you can choose to have your image cover or to tile and also switch out the board text. So you can choose between light to look in the top left hand corner. It makes it white, the text or that makes the text dark can also delete the background. And so where the light looks really great is if you have a dark background versus uh, the light. And so Trello automatically switches between the, the dark and the light depending on your background. Two other things, the backgrounds that you upload is going to be responsive. So they resize with the screen. One other thing is that you can also upload GIFs. So the reason why this is repeating is because it is on tile. So let's switch to cover. And I actually think tile in this case looks really good. Let's try one more. <laughs> so that's kind of busy for me, but the option is there. If you wanted to have something cool in the background, um, you can do that. Abigail and Emily already shares 15 really gorgeous backgrounds with us love these. I love kind of um, having these desk feel vibes going on, um, lifestyle vibes. Um, I also love lifestyle shots. So something like this, um, I find really attractive and inspiring. But I also found some really cool free board backgrounds for you. If you go to martintrellis.com, she shares six really cute pattern ideas. So you can definitely upload patterns. If you're into patterns, then you might like these options to show you really quick what it would look like if you used one of these guys as your background. So really fun, pops nicely. There really are so many great ways for you to customize and personalize your Trello uh, workspace. So if you uh, feel like you would like to mix things up, then definitely go ahead and look at the options that Abigail and Emily share inside of Trello for Business. You can also create your own inside of Canva or just drag in a high quality image that you have shot yourself. You can also do GIFs and you can also upload images from your favorite stock site. And then last but not least, um, you can use patterns and I will include a link where you can grab a copy of Trello background. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.